are you suffering from dating fatigue? So if you don't know what dating fatigue is, it's where you have very likely gone on way too many dates and you're starting to feel a little bit burned out. So perhaps maybe you're uh, quite demotivated to go on any more dates or you've just felt the repetitiveness of it that you've just gone on a date over and over again you're having the same kind of conversations nothing really out of the ordinary and you are just completely bored of the whole thing well if this sounds like something that you are potentially suffering from then I'm going to go over a few things in this video that will hopefully help you to uh, to overcome the dating fatigue and actually enjoy going on dates again. So if you can, I want you to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel where you can stay up to date on all of my content that is going to help you with your confidence and how you can be breaking up with your anxiety and moving on with more positive results in your dating life in the future. And of course, if you've got any questions or comments, do leave them underneath this video. But with all of that now said and done, let's move on to the points that's going to help you to overcome your dating fatigue. So for this first point, I want you to have a clearer understanding of why you're going on your dates. I think it's very easy to get caught up in the momentum of going on a date and then another date and another date and so on and actually forgetting about the reason in why you're there. So what I want you to consider is the purpose in why you are going on these dates in the first place. So are you looking just to have a little bit of fun? Are you looking to have a relationship or are you looking for a long-term partner? Now, whichever one of these you end up going for isn't really important, but what is important is the conviction behind wanting to find these or experience these, which is gonna ultimately lead you to wanting to go on your dates. Now, when you do have that conviction and you clearly wanna be there, your, uh, your date is gonna feel that too. And overall, you're just gonna have much better and more fun interactions. So for this first point, consider your purpose for going on these dates. Make sure that your reasoning is correct. Because if perhaps maybe your answer is, well, I don't know why I'm going on these dates or oh, I'm only going on these dates to be show sociable, then your priorities just aren't in the right place. You want to be going on the dates for a reason. Otherwise, you might as well be just spending time with like your friends and family or going off and doing hobbies and doing more sociable things that way, rather than going on a date with someone that you don't know that you should be getting to know and wanting to get to know and just seeing what happens um, as that date progresses. So decide what your purpose is with going on dates. And once you've got that, I think you'll probably find that you'll be able to filter your dates a little bit more. Which brings me on to my second point, which is quality over quantity. Now, I've seen it a lot in the dating industry, especially with guys who are very new to the scene and they tend to maybe overdo it on the dating apps. Now, bear in mind that there is a lot of blind dating that goes on. And in fact, you know what? In any kind of dating on that first date is usually going to be a blind date um, unless you've been in a more social environment and you've gotten to know someone a lot first before actually asking them out. So we'll consider the scenario that your first date is going to be more of a blind date. If you're not filtering your dates enough and making sure that you're going on a date with someone that you know you're going to just be having a good time with, then you're also going to feel that burnout. You're going to be going on a date then obviously with someone who you might know within the first five minutes if you like them or not. And then the very likelihood is that you just don't. You're just going to be sitting there for the rest of the day going like, oh, I really wish I wasn't here or oh, I really wish I'd have booked that other date with that girl that I just know I would have had a much better interaction with or conversations with. So I want you to consider, at least for this one, that it is OK to go on fewer dates. I'd rather you go on less dates and have better quality dates because you filtered more rather than you just overdoing it, going on lots of dates, uh, especially with people that you just know you're not going to hit it off with. So 
don't worry about overdoing it on the dates. You're better to be going on fewer dates and then making them more interesting, whether you end up spending a bit more money during those dates or you have the normal dates that you have, but you are just spending the time with people that you're having fun with. And ultimately, if you constantly keep doing that, you'll just find that you'll just be more overall happy um, going on dates or wanting to date because you're spending time with people that you enjoy the company of. So consider going on fewer dates, but improve the quality of them. Filter your dates better, whether it be through the apps, whether it be through social events, whether it be if you're meeting strangers on the street, ask more appropriate questions to decide, is this person actually worth going on a date with besides having that level of physical attraction there? So this next one goes a little bit deeper where you might have some underlying trauma that could be holding you back from actually enjoying these dates. Now, perhaps maybe at some point in your life you've experienced rejection, you've been in a very vulnerable position where you've maybe opened up to someone and they've taken advantage of that, or maybe you've just been in uh, dates or interactions where you've just been maybe abused, you've just been knocked down for whatever reason, and now you've got some limiting beliefs about yourself, or you've just had some negative experiences that have just caused you just to avoid those future scenarios ever happening again. And so because of them, you might then look to avoid certain scenarios play out during your dates. Maybe you're scared to flirt during your dates. Maybe you're a little bit nervous of opening up your confidence and your body language to the other person because in some form or another that might be um, expressing a level of vulnerability to them. Um, perhaps maybe even you're scared to make those moves of you know going in for the kiss or escalating it to the point that you go back to theirs or yours. So all of these things though can certainly hold you back from again enjoying your dates and you're going to get that fatigue if you constantly feel like you're hitting a wall or a barrier that's just stopping you from progressing and getting the results that you want. So what can be done with something like this? Well, certainly integral eye movement therapy is a great method to uh, help remove those negative memories. Um, if they can detach these uh, these feelings that you've got from a past experience, or if they can reduce or remove these negative or limiting beliefs that you've got about yourself, then you might be more willing to open yourself up to those opportunities. You might then be more open to flirting. You suddenly might be more confident. You might not be phased of the idea of uh, being rejected. So consider the idea that something like integral eye movement therapy could be the answer of removing any negative past trauma that you've got that might be holding you back from your uh, interactions or dates uh, and what's happening on your dates. Now, alternatively, you've also got the opportunity of certainly going to a dating coach or maybe in parallel, go into a dating coach and they will be able to hear what is happening in your interactions um, and telling you maybe where you're going right and in particular where you're going wrong. So having those minor adjustments in your interactions might then also see you getting those better results. So if you are maybe struggling with some past issue that is maybe holding you back, then certainly for this particular point, look to go to an expert or a coach who can help you through those particular boundaries, get you to see where your um, your maybe mistakes or errors are, or even then the things that are holding you back that you just have no control over and make those adjustments so you can start getting results. So this next point, I want you to consider maybe finding alternate ways to uh, to meet the people that you're going on dates with, as well as the locations that you're going on the dates. Um, it's very easy to just, again, get caught in the same routine of going to the same bar, ordering the same drinks, having the same conversations. But if you're just 
doing that over and over again and maybe you're using just the dating apps to find these women to go to the same bars and stuff of course you're going to get bored um in fact i know of a few guys who have certainly learned from dating coaches who have been taught maybe like some routines of things to say on the dates knowing that they're going to be able to escalate for a kiss and more and they have openly said to me just how bored they are of having the same conversations asking the same questions and in particularly asking the questions because they know it's the only way uh, to build attraction and get the results that they want and obviously this isn't the case you can have any kind of conversation with someone it's really just understanding the principles of attraction and understanding how to escalate your uh, your dates as they uh, progress over the uh, the night but I want you to consider with this that if you are bored of maybe meeting uh, women in the same way that you have on the previous date and the one before that then maybe do something different if you're always meeting women through the dating apps then maybe go speed dating maybe go to a social event uh, or if you're really daring why not work with a dating coach and go and do some street approaching and meet women who you never would have deemed possible before um, by being pushed into interactions that you know that you would have just sort of let slip by and just would have said like what if when you were heading home from like the gym or uh, from work so consider doing something a little bit more out of the box with that and same with going on the dates um, even then a dating coach will be able to give you that advice on maybe what other conversations and topics you can be talking about on the date to make it a bit more fun and interesting alternatively you could also consider mixing up your date locations don't keep going to the same place over and over again go somewhere else do some activities of things that you want to maybe do um, it's okay once in a while just to take a break from the norm do something different but again this will coincide with what are you looking for on your dates because you know if you're trying to look to maybe sleep with someone on that first date doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to materialize into uh, someone into more wife material so just consider that as a thought and for this last point if it's not obvious already why not consider taking a break from dating for a little while I can honestly assure you your dating life is not going to go anywhere if you walk away for a little bit it will still be there when you return now a lot of people will then be asking well how long should I be having a break for well certainly with clients of mine I have recommended to them to have a break for a month or two um, it obviously depends on person to person in how addicted you are to the idea of dating but I think having just a break for a month or two is absolutely fine but there is a saying where absence makes the heart grow fonder that if you're having a break from going on these dates you might just reignite this passion or love interest in going on dates again and that's what you want sometimes having an abundance of dates going on way too many you can just sort of feel like well yeah I've I've got my fill and now I'm just going on dates for the sake of it whereas if you can kind of remove that abundance if you can feel like oh, and I, I just haven't been on a date in a while you know what I'm really craving that human interaction and flirting with someone and just kind of seeing what happens and being on that adventure then that is where when you then get back into going on dates again you're going to have fun and you're going to enjoy your uh, your interactions and the uh, the girls that you're going to be flirting with so for this last point consider having a break and uh, get rid of that dating fatigue um, and then come back to dating where then you can learn to enjoy it again so I do hope this video was helpful for you if you are someone who suffers from dating fatigue I would love to hear your thoughts and your experiences of perhaps maybe any of these that I have mentioned in this video and how it's affected you and what did you do to overcome these particular anxieties um, and uh of course if you can like this video subscribe to my channel 
And if you've also got any ideas for further videos that you would love for me to make, uh, perhaps make, that's gonna help you with your dating journey, help you in working on your confidence and also overcoming um, any negative traumas that you might have within dating, then I would love to be able to help you out by answering any questions that you put, as well as perhaps maybe us working together, um, of which I've got a link in the description box just underneath this video, where I can either work with you doing integral eye movement therapy, removing those negative memories, or perhaps maybe you need to be held more accountable for working on your dating life or even other areas of your life overall. And uh, I'm able to offer my life coaching services for you to uh, help you to get where you want to be and uh, get those results too. So thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe. Stay up to date with all of the rest of the content that I'm going to be putting out and look forward to more future videos from me.